I'm going to unbox, install, and test this reverse osmosis water filtration system by Waterdrop. Be sure to watch until the end to see the water purity test I did on tap water, concentrated water coming out of this system, and even bottled water using this TDS meter. This is the Waterdrop D6RO reverse osmosis tankless water filtration system. The unit's dimensions are about 16 by 6 by 12 inches, a somewhat small form factor uh, that should easily fit under the sink without taking up um, a lot of space. Three tubes uh, connect to this uh, unit and uh, they are color coded. Uh, there is an inlet port for uh, the tap uh, water to come in, an outlet port where it sends the uh, concentrated water um, to the included faucet and uh, a drain port where uh, wastewater um, goes. Next, I'm going to talk about the high level steps for the installation. For all the details, uh, watch the video that Waterdrop uh, created or uh, read the instruction manual. Uh, you will need to have two things in place before you can install this uh, system. First, you need an electric uh, outlet under the sink to plug this unit. Uh, second, uh, you need a hole in uh, your sink uh, or countertop to install uh, the included filter uh, water uh, faucet. Uh, I had to remove the uh, kitchen sink uh, spray nozzle, uh, but that's okay, I wasn't using it much anyway. Before I continue with the installation, let me talk about how the system works to understand the big picture. Three water tubes connect to the unit. The white inlet connects to the cold water tap, gets filtered, uh, and the concentrated water pushed out via the blue outlet tube uh, to the digital faucet. The red drain uh, tube uh, connects to the waste uh, water. Back to the installation, uh, the first step is to uh, shut off the water supply uh, for uh, the cold water and turn on the faucet to release uh, the water pressure. Next, install the feed water adapter and connect the white inlet water tube to it. Now install the faucet and attach the blue outlet water tube to it along with the power supply cable. Next, install the drain saddle and connect the red drain water tube to it. You will need to drill a small hole for this. If you live in an apartment and you're worried about the security deposits when you move out, it's okay, you can just uh, run to your local hardware store and pick up a small uh, PVC pipe thingy for a few bucks uh, to replace the one uh, with the hole in it. Finally, uh, connect the faucet uh, power cord uh, to the unit and uh, the three uh, tubings in their respective uh, color-coded uh, ports. For uh, tubing management, uh, you can cut the tubes uh, to shorten them uh, to a suitable uh, length uh, or use uh, clips uh, and zip ties uh, to make the area look pretty. Turn on the valve for the power supply you shut off uh, earlier and watch for any uh, leaks before uh, plugging uh, the unit into the electric uh, outlet. Quick polls, if you're getting value out of this video, do me a favor and hit the like button. It helps with the algorithm for the growth of this channel. Start the system up and turn on the faucet. Uh, the system will do a flush, uh, so you probably have to uh, keep, uh, keep it running for uh, a bit uh, the first time until it completes. Uh, notice the number on the faucet display will uh, gradually uh, go down. Uh, you don't have to wait uh, this long uh, every time, usually uh, within uh, two to three seconds uh, to stabilize. The system has one of the fastest water flow rates at 600 gallons per day and a lower wastewater drain ratio of 1.5 to 1. Sorry about the flickering, it's the refresh rate of the display. It doesn't actually uh, do that when uh, looking at it. The display also uh, shows ring lights indicating the filter's uh, remaining lifespan and uh, the filter replacement indicator turns uh, on uh, or turns red. The lifespan of the filter is uh, about 12 months and costs uh, $70 to replace. Mine is showing a TDS reading of 14 parts per million, which is excellent. Uh, I will have to test it out with the TDS meter. Uh, I have to make sure water drop doesn't um, skew uh, this number on their display panel. Sorry water drop, um, I trust you, but I will trust you more when I get a second opinion. The noise coming out of the unit while operational is uh, non-existent uh, when the uh, cabinet doors are closed. It's uh, pretty quiet even if they're um, open. Um, take a listen. This is uh, 55 uh, decibels. Removing the filter is very easy by removing the front cover and uh, pulling up the uh, locking handle. Then use the filter handle to uh, pull out. This five-stage reverse osmosis uh, filter significantly reduces uh, many harmful uh, contaminants uh, from uh, water, including TDS, total uh, dissolved um, solids, lead, chlorine, sodium, nitrates, chromium, benzene, and many other uh, toxic uh, substances. I'm going to test the TDS levels from four water sources. First, bottled water, the concentrated water out of the water drop um, RO system I just installed, cold tap water, and hot tap water. Let's start with the warm tap water, as I expect it to uh, be the most impure one with the high TDS levels. I'm getting a TDS reading of uh, 187 parts per million. 
Second water source is cold tap water. I'm getting a reading of uh, 152, not much better. Third is the concentrated water out of the drop water D6 system I just installed. Oh baby, here we go, a TDS reading of 18 parts per million. Finally, bottled water. Premium bottled water if I may add, and not the no brand name one. I have a reading of 30. I would like to repeat this test to make sure we get the same numbers again. Bottled water, yes, similar number. Concentrated RO system water, yes, similar low number. Cold tap water, yes, a similar number to the first test. Warm tap water, again, a similar number, so it's pretty consistent. Let's hand out the medals to the winners. Concentrated water had the lowest TDS reading, making it the purest water at 16 parts per million. The runner-up is uh, bottled water with a TDS reading of 30. Cold and warm tap water is in the distant third and fourth place at 150 and 185 TDS readings. Hey, thanks for watching this video. If you're interested in buying this product, use the link in the description below for an extra 10% off. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to the channel for more tech reviews. Let me know in the comment section below what kind of water filtration system you have. I'll check you up later.